Well, this is the MCI bus that we got for our daughter. Um, we're gonna go through the engine here and find out what's going on with it. See if it is an injector problem or if there's a compression issue or how many cylinders it's down. So let's we'll see what we find out. So one of the issues that we know it's having is that it's making oil. So the dipstick is over full, smells like diesel. And uh, immediately, my, because they just had head work done on it, the first thing we do is come in here and look at these little fuel jumpers and they should have black oil like that sitting on them. And if they have black oil on them like that, Just a little drip of black oil like that and that. That means they're good. And then when they don't, like that one right there is clean, that means the diesel fuel washed it off the oil. And that one right there is clean. That one on the right is clean. One on the right is clean. One on the left there is clean, one on the right has oil. Both of those have oil. And both of those have oil. So there's multiple, what did I count? There's six of them that are leaking. Um, and that's only on this side. Both heads were redone on this engine. So we'll have to check the other side too, but we know that that's why it's making oil because those are leaking. Okay, let's see if this is actually loose on here or not. These are supposed to be like 14 foot pounds, I think is what it is in the book. But I'm just putting it on here and seeing how loose it is. That's pretty tight. That's really tight. I can't even turn it with that. So it's not that it's loose. It might be cracked. They might be over tightened. Um, let me check another one that was. Because uh, of the Jake break, I need an extension on this. Apparently, I forgot to hit record my camera, but several of those were loose when I went through and, uh, and tightened them. We'll go back to the back. If I can get these on easy, but I might have any bold. Okay, we are going to take the exhaust manifold off loose here just to figure out which of the two cylinders, if there's two of them or whatever that are uh, wet stacking. Judging by the looks of it there, I'm going to say maybe those rear two, but who knows. Okay, so we pulled the manifold to see which one was the one that was all wet. For sure that one's wet. That one's got a little bit of wetness, but it might just be because everything was blown by from that one. And those are definitely good. Firing right. I don't want to short out injectors right now here in the shop because it's going to smoke it all up. But definitely we know where to look at. So we're going to check those two liners. We'll pull those inspection covers down there and see what we got. Well, from down here, other than it smells like diesel fuel and fuel came pouring out of there. Let's go ahead and turn it over. The side of the piston looks pretty good from here. Up or down. It's coming down. Lots of fuel on there for sure. And one more turn, you should have it. Just a hair more. Right there is good. What am I seeing there? Turn it just a little bit more, see if it comes down just a hair more. I, don't, I think it's about bottom out though. Yep, it's coming back up. Go back. Right there is fine. There is definitely fuel on top of that piston. Let's see, if I can get in there and see the liners. I guess the next step is to compression test it. I see cross hatching very clearly in there. Hard to get the focus on the back side. Okay, we're getting ready to pull the injector on it here. Let's check the condition of the injector, plus we can also do a compression test now. Just taking off the injector, hold down clamp. A little clamp there. Well, that's how you get stuck. Oh, wow, well, yeah, the injector just lifted right out of there like nothing. Was that clamp down bolt tight? It felt like it, but yeah, the injector had no seat to it.
Got a tip on it. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Is there anything down in there? Can you see in the hole? No, I need a rag. Definitely not the injector. Uh, the injectors are atomizing great. Okay. Zero PSI. Try that again. You can come back here. Okay. Ready? Yep. One more time. Okay. Well, here you can clearly see the first three cylinders trying to exhaust, uh, even though I have the rack on the off position, but you can see they're actually compressing and trying to burn off some oil in the cylinders but the last one is not doing anything. Okay, so we went ahead and put everything all back together here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of the shop. We bypassed that fuel injector, so there's no fuel going to it, so it's gonna smoke less now. Um, the next step is to pull the head on this, but uh, we don't have the time or the space to do it here in the shop right now. I have another MCI-8 coming in here tomorrow for some work, and then we have a Wonder Lodge coming in on Sunday that needs this bay. So we're gonna put this outside, and uh, we'll probably pull the head out there because we need to figure out, you know, what's going on with the liner and the piston or whatever. It could be a head issue, um, but we won't know anymore until we actually pull the head. It is leaking fuel, too, from these fittings on here. From when they put the head back in, it's either stripped out or something's not quite right, but fuel was all running down, leaking there. So we're going to get that. The head's got to come off anyway, so we'll figure that all out. Uh, we will go ahead and compression test each hole uh, before we actually remove the head, just to make sure all those numbers are good if one of them's one of the other ones is a little bit weak. Uh, we want to know that now. So if we're going to put new liners or pistons in it, um, and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, and we'll check the other side too. Uh, but we, we at least now know that this head has to come off over here on this side. So, uh, and we don't have the time or the space to do it here today. So it's going to go outside for a little bit um, where it's going to be parked. And then we'll have plenty of room to be able to get to it out there and, and do that. His tools, check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride, you know, plenty of the silver sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. up engine door watch that bus grease monkey do his thing 30 years behind that barn cause it don't run worth a darn watch that bus grease monkey make it sing he knows in detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out it's that bus grease monkey don't you know saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides it's that bus grease monkey don't you know now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. When he travels town to town working on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide and on Lenny the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?
don't you know? It's that bird's grease monkey, don't you know? 